In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at a technique for inverting the color of a text and its immediate background. You often see this in advertising where they're trying to keep the focus on that particular text. And so what we'd like to do is show you ways in which you can flip it back and forth. And if you do it fast enough, you actually make it look like it's flashing. So I'd like to give you an illustration from a 17 second little clip and then we'll get back to our tutorial. The clip you just saw was using the Tidler Pro 1.5, which is available in recent copies of PowerDirector Ultimate. So for simplicity's sake, I'm going to use the regular title tool inside of PowerDirector since the technique is the same, whether you're using the title option in PowerDirector or the Tidler Pro if you happen to have it. So what I put on the screen is a slightly moving video here. It's a a picture of a green background and then I put a color board in front of that the brown one and then I put a title called B and K landscaping so what would it what would it take for me to invert these particular colors let me show you how to do that first thing I do is I'm going to take the two components and highlight them and do control C to copy then I'll click on either one, press the end key to go to the end of the clip, and then I'll con do control V to paste. Now nothing's changed so far, but one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the three numbers behind the color board, which are 72, 69, and 28. And, the, and so what I'm also going to do is I'm going to look into my text first. So I'll double click and get into my title editor, my title designer. Now in the title designer, I have a color. I'm going to click on the color swatch and then I'm going to look at the three numbers on red, green, and blue. It happens to be zero and then 251 and then zero. And that gets my color that I have here Then I'll cancel out. So what I want to do is make some changes here. In this case, I'm going to change the color. I'll right click again. And now I'm going to change the color, now that I've written that down, to the color of the color board. It was 72 and then 69 and then 28 and press OK. Now it basically disappears into the background. But now, with that done, I'm going to go to my color board, right click on it, and now I'm going to choose Change Color. It says from Color Selector, now I'm going to type in the three numbers that were my green, which is 0, 251, and zero and click OK. And now in essence I've inverted the colors. Those three RGB numbers are really helpful to get it precise. And so when I move from one to the other, I'll click play here and it happens pretty quick. It'll go from green and brown to brown and green. Now if I want it to flash or uh, be very active, all I need to do is change the duration of my blocks. So let's say I have them all selected. I'll click on duration and say the duration is only going to be, uh, say, 10 frames. I'll put zero for seconds and then we'll go click the other category and we'll type in 10. Okay, so now there are 10 frames long. We'll enlarge our timeline so we can see. So then all I need to do, if I want to go back and forth multiple times, is I drag across all four, do Control c move to the end of my timeline here, do Control v 
press the end key press the move to the last one press the end key control V again end key control V again end key control V again and here's where I may want to shorten it up and control V so you get the process or I could actually after I have several of them copy all of them again with control C go to the end and do control V and I'm copying more of them at a time and now if I look at what I have here on the screen I'll go back to the beginning play my movie and my sign will basically flash so now I have the option of doing that and if I don't like the speed if I want to slow it down all I need to do is go back and highlight all of my clips that alternate and I can click on duration and I say well I don't want it 10 seconds I want it 20 seconds click on OK and now when I go back to the beginning and play I've slowed it down it's not a very complicated process but it's an easy way to alternate between the background and the foreground so it keeps being inverted you can make it happen a few times in a subtle way or you can have make it happen as often and as quickly as you want in CyberLink PowerDirector.